Senator McEwen. Thank you, Mr. President. My question is to the Minister for Broadband Communications and the Digital Economy, <coughs> Senator Conroy. I refer the Minister to the Government's announcement in relation to the National Broadband Network on April 7, 2009. Can the Minister outline to the Senate some of the economic benefits that will result from the Government's investment in a national broadband network? The Minister for Broadband Communications and the Digital Economy, Senator Conroy. Thank you, Mr. President, and welcome back safely from Mexico, can I say, on behalf of the whole chamber. The, uh, the national uh, broadband network is nation building for the 21st century. It will transform the Australian economy in the same way as rail and electricity networks transformed Australia in past centuries. A recent report by Access Economics found that the national high-speed broadband network will positively impact our economic performance and lead to economy-wide productivity growth that would be 1.1 per cent higher after 10 years compared to if the network was not built. A report, a report by the Centre for International Economics in November 2008 Mr. President, said broadband could lift national economic output by 1.4 per cent after five to six years. This is equivalent to $15 billion in terms of GDP in 2007-2008. Now, Mr. President, compare that with the GST, which was championed by the Howard government on the basis that it would add to GDP growth by 0.5 per cent. The great economic reform put forward by those opposites, 0.5 per cent. But the Rudd government understands that its investment in the national broadband network will create jobs and drive productivity today and into the future. It will create new efficiencies and sustainability. It will improve the availability of emerging services and applications in areas such as healthcare and education. It will position Australia to take advantage of the global recovery when it comes. Meanwhile, the Senator Leader Conroy, of the Opposition— your time has expired. Senator McEwen. Thank you, Mr President. Is the Minister aware of comments by Optus CEO Paul O'Sullivan, who, in relation to the NBN announcement, stated, the government's new model has the potential to fundamentally change the competitive landscape and create a true level playing field? This is a very positive outcome for consumers and business right across the country. Can the Minister inform the Senate what the reaction of other key industry stakeholders has been to the government's MBN announcement on the 7th of April. The minister. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. President. And yes, it is possible to outline some of the reaction from the industry, but that would be in stark contrast to those opposite. I mean, the leader of the opposition said he was happy that he could download his movies already in one to two seconds. That was the entire entire thinking behind those opposites' position on this. Oh, really? I'm happy. Really? I'm happy I can download my movies fast enough. I'm, I can download my movies fast enough. Don't worry about everybody else. Don't worry about regional Australia. In Wentworth, in Wentworth I can download my movies as fast as I want them. It is fair to say that the reaction of the industry to the national broadband network has been overwhelmingly supportive. I will take this opportunity to inform the Senate of some comments from key industry representatives. Take IINet Managing Director Michael Malone. He stated, and Senator I quote, Conroy, your time has expired. Resume your seat. Se Sen order. Senator McEwen. Order. Order. Senator McEwen. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr President, and, and I thank the Minister for his answer so far. Could he also um, advise us that, given that on February, February the 6, 2009, prior to the National Broadband Network announcement, the Leader of the Opposition, Mr Malcolm Turnbull, stated, the infrastructure that will give you the best return is economic infrastructure that will make the economy more efficient, more productive and, you know, grow more strongly. So, that is investment in communications. 
Can the minister therefore advise the Senate if investment in productive economic infrastructure like high-speed broad broadband is widely recognised as a critical way to ensure Australia's prosperity? The minister. Thank you. While the industry and government clearly understands that productivity gains resulting from high-speed broadband access, the opposition can only be described as confused. As the senator noted, prior to the NBN announcement, the leader of the opposition you just keep you just keep hugging those nodes. The leader of the opposition said investment in productive economic infrastructure like communications was vital. Vital. Following the NBN announcement, Mr. Turnbull backflipped, criticising the government for investing in high-speed broadband infrastructure and describing the NBN as a monumental policy failure. So now the opposition appears to agree with investment in productive infrastructure but oppose investment in high-speed broadband. In his speech to the National Press Club on 6 May 2009, Malcolm Turnbull stated that debt which is incurred to fund investment in infrastructure that increases the productivity of Australia will in time pay for itself. Senator Conroy, your so time has expired. Resume your seat. Resume.